I have my 1990 Blazer connected to a dump trailer, but the dump trailer battery is dead and even when it worked right it only dumped three to five times. So today I'm going to show you how to hook up the dump trailer directly to the battery on the Blazer. To complete this project I had to get several things and from different places actually I'll show you what I would have gotten and I'll tell you what I did get. Um, first of all you do need some cable. Now this cable is going to run all the way from the battery uh, along through the, your vehicle uh, along with other trailer wiring or other wires whatever you have through your frame and all the way to the back where you can hook up. Now I used one aught gauge cable. I did not get battery cable. I was in a hurry to get this done and so I just went to Lowe's and I they have bulk uh, one aught cable there and so that's what I got. So the one-aught cable will handle just about anything you can throw at it as far as from your battery goes. And that's even bigger sometimes than what your battery cables are, depending on the vehicle that you're running. So uh, I got cable. Now I'm just showing you. You can get it online, but you should be able to get this at O'Reilly or any place uh, actually that sells bulk cable. And I tried to get some from O'Reilly, but they didn't have it in stock. So um, I got most of the other things from them. So besides the cable, you're also going to need a switch. Now, my preference is to put the switch as close to the battery as you can. And this is a 100 amp continuous switch that will allow me to turn on and off that uh, trailer connection anytime I want. So I put this, put one of these in there. And so actually before that, I had from the battery I have an inline connection to a fuse and anytime you run uh, a fairly large thing like this and you're running a, a line through the chassis actually you should fuse it so I got a maxi fuse holder this is only a six gauge so you may think well what about the other stuff well this is close to the battery and you know if it gets overdone you can and you can get an 80 amp fuse for it if you want I actually put a 100 amp fuse in mine because that's what I had. And uh, so I'll show you that in just a minute on the truck. But I got one of these. And uh, I also, you, you should be able to get these from any electronics store. Uh, just go in and, and order them. But you'll have to go to an honest to goodness electronics store like Granger or someplace like that and uh, get one. Uh, of course, you'll need a fuse for that. So I, I'll show you in a minute. I have a 100 amp fuse in mine, which is more than what that's supposed to take, but that's what I had. And also, um, you'll need some way to hook this to your trailer. Now, the, the easiest way is to just grab yourself something here, uh, some sort of trailer connection. And I actually just got a seven-way, seven-blade uh, plug and lead, you know lead. Now it's not eight feet long. The one I got was shorter, and um, just ran it uh, using that. So I have a plug, and I'll show you that under the vehicle in just a minute. And of course, you'll need the uh, that's the uh, uh, male female side. You also need the male side, which is actually what goes on your uh, vehicle. So I did not put this in the back of my vehicle so that it could be visible from the outside world. I tucked it up underneath my bumper so that people wouldn't see it and try and plug something into it if they ever borrowed my vehicle. So those are the things that I needed, and let's see how we installed them. So here you can see the fuse, uh, inline fuse that I've got and the switch. I'll take off the fuse cover here so you can see that. And inside here, once I get it open, is a 100 amp fuse. And uh, that could be an 80 amp, but that's what I had. So uh, next, after you know, from the battery to the fuse and then from the bat uh, fuse, we go to the switch. Now the switch uh, just has a simple key that goes in it and that turns on power to the back of the blazer so that we can hook up the trailer. And you can see uh, next here the cable going back down and I'll switch views here uh, back down into the uh, body and uh, frame down there below and it follows that all the way back to the back of the blazer. This cable terminates at the rear where I have just a standard trailer hookup that I run all of the wires hot. Okay, and that comes out underneath the blazer and goes over to the trailer where it's connected up underneath. And here I've got power going on, so I'll lift that trailer up just a little bit. 
Uh, and there it goes. And you can see there's the battery box, which doesn't have a battery in it anymore. And then you can see the motor over here, just a second, we'll get to it on the right, that has power coming in. That's from the battery, uh, fused and protected like it should be. And we just hooked that up directly to the hot side of that motor. And, of course, the hitch and everything provides ground back to the ground on the truck. And the battery box still has cables going into it, but there's no battery in it. I'm just leaving the cables there in case I never need to put a battery back into it. And that's how you connect all of this up to a Blazer and make it work.